This video documents the installation of the concealed monopole structure. While viewing, be sure to observe the preparation this particular crew exhibits. You will notice that they stage all materials and hardware prior to starting each phase of installation, ensuring they are ready to execute the task at hand. In addition, they take excellent care of the materials during each process to ensure the installed product looks admirable. Let's follow along during this well-executed professional installation. Upon arrival, the delivery driver will begin to unstrap the materials from the flatbed. This is a good time to check the condition of the products and photo document them while they are still on the truck. If any damage has occurred to the product in transit, this type of photo documentation will be critical with regards to claim submittal. If damaged goods are handled prior to documenting any issues, the carrier will likely deny all claims. Here, the crew stages the materials prior to proceeding with installation. Laying out the various parts in this manner promotes organization and is a good way to inventory all parts. An inventory should always be performed prior to starting installation. This is also a good time to review the hardware and ensure the proper size bolts are matched to the correct connection locations. This is the start of the actual installation. Notice that the area around the foundation where the crew will be working is free of debris. The cranes are in place for rigging and the foundation is prepared for receipt of the lower pole section. You can also see one of the crew members utilizing a level to properly locate the leveling hex nuts that the base plate will rest on. These may require additional adjustment once the pole is set in place due to manufacturing tolerances. The lower section is now rigged and being lifted into place. Note that the path for the pole section is clear and for safety reasons only the required crew members surround the steel. The pole is carefully lowered into place over the anchor bolts and secured to the foundation. You can see that the hardware for securing the pole was next to its anchor bolt. This level of detail aids in ease and timeliness of the installation. Now that the lower section is in place, the upper section is rigged and ready to be installed. Note that careful attention is paid to rigging the materials, often utilizing the padding that was used for shipping. This helps protect the painted and galvanized finishes of the pole to ensure a long service life and excellent appearance. This also helps minimize the amount of cleaning and paint touch-up that is required after handling of the materials. While lowering the upper section over the lower section, pay close attention that you line up the flats so that the jacking nuts are positioned in line with one another. Here the pole is carefully lowered ensuring that the minimum overlap is achieved before completing the installation of the monopole sections. Once the monopole is installed, the concealment top section is lifted into place. This particular pole has three sections and each are bolted in succession to their appropriate flange plates. Note that where applicable, the quarter-inch plate containing tabs for the cylinder is secured between the flanges, paying close attention that the tabs are all in line with one another. Shim plates are also provided and are often required at the connection location to ensure the steel is level. The half cylinders are now flown into place and secured. It is very important that all hardware be utilized when attaching the cylinders to the bulkheads as well as the seam bolts that run vertically along each side of the two-part cylinders. After all cylinders are secured to the pole, installation is now complete. As displayed here, a well-organized job site and professional installation crew result in a successful installation.